Hello, it's Mark from Cars and Cameras, and today we're gonna to do another test with the Mac Studio. This time it's gonna be a 4K video test in Final Cut Pro, and we are gonna use A7S Mark III footage right from the SD card in 4K, and we're just gonna to toss it in Final Cut Pro and see how it does. 24P footage, and it's 10-bit. All right, let's take a look. So the first thing I'm gonna do is to show you it plays back perfectly fine there. You can scrub and everything is great. Okay, so let me show you a cool thing that this computer allows you to do. And I could not do this with the Mac Mini. You can see that we, that little, that little kind of little blip there we wanna get rid of where the camera starts to, or the frame starts to drop off. So I'm just gonna go ahead and push it back here a little bit. Let me do it again. Okay, so it's pushed back. And you can see everything is still playing while I'm doing that. Now, if I did that on the Mac Mini, um, it would start to stutter or um, it would stop. And as you see here, it's playing back perfectly. And I'm gonna go ahead and do it again. Um, before I do that, I'm gonna toggle to full screen. Let's see what that looks like here. And like I said, you can do this on the Mac Mini, it works just the same. But uh, just to see, you can see it works great. Oh, there's another one we gotta get rid of. Okay, so I'll just highlight it. And I'm just gonna grab it back. And you can see the clip is still playing, which is really cool. It really, you know, this Mac Studio can really, when you, you know, you're just playing with, this is test clips, but you know, if you're really working on something and this project is about, um, what is it, about 50, 50 some odd minutes long. And um, yeah, everything is just working great in there. So it does do a good job. All right, let's see what else we can do. And you can see here, the scrubbing, everything is fine. Okay, now the next thing we're gonna do is, I think we're gonna do a little stabilization and I'll show you how quickly um, you can do this. So I think this clip here of the cat, I think I'm gonna go ahead and I got a little few little micro jitters there. So let's add a little just, just stabilization to it. Let's just check it. I'll just wait for it to render that because if you don't, it's not gonna, uh, you're not gonna see it. So you can see it does it very fast. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at it now. And uh, let's go ahead and bump it up full screen. And there it is. Very smooth cat footage. So that does a good job. So that's really cool. All right, so let's see what we can do next. I think what we'll do next is a, uh, I'll do a Ken Burns. Uh, zoom in, even though this is 4K footage. It is from the A7S Mark III, so that is an excellent 4K camcorder. I call it a camcorder, it's a camera, but in my mind, it's a camcorder because it is not a camera you really wanna shoot stills with, but that is for another subject. So let's go ahead and do a Ken Burns crop in on this little shot here and see how it does. And I'm gonna play it back right away I'm not gonna wait for it to do anything, so let's do that. Well, let's go ahead and uh, bring it up full screen and see how it looks. And there you go. Yeah, it looks really good. Even cropped in, 4K 10-bit footage looks really good on the A7S Mark III. Okay, so for our last test, I'm gonna see how long it's gonna take to export this project out, which is, it's about 53 minutes long. So let's go ahead and do that next. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and record this and this is a 192 gigabyte export. So I'm really curious to see how long it takes. 53 minutes of 4K footage. So let's go ahead and save this and get it going and see how long it takes. I'm really curious because on other Mac computers, this would take quite a long time. So I'm really curious to see how long it's gonna take and already I can tell you it is moving along really fast. I think we're gonna be done somewhere around the five minute mark. And we are, we're at five minutes and six seconds. So that's pretty amazing. The more I use this Mac Studio, I really do like it. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe and have a wonderful day.